And welcome back, everybody, once again to Monumenta. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and we are back here in Seer Haven because this is apparently where we're supposed to start a dungeon quest. I have no idea which dungeon it is. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I get back to the other one? Aw, oh, man. Okay, well, I guess I'm not in the right place then. That now, I'm pretty sure it said in the description, what I did is I went to Frostgate, or, I don't know, I went to one of the cities and I clicked on the little quest guide, and it, it showed a quest, and it said it's a dungeon quest, and it said it starts in Seerhaven, but I could have sworn that it said it starts at, like, the gem guy in Seerhaven, which I'm pretty sure is over here. Uh, Jeweler, I don't know if that counts as the gem guy or not, though. Are you he? No. You are not the person that I'm looking for. So I don't know. I don't know where it is. I guess we'll head back to... Is there an easier way to get back to the Celestine Isles, or do I have to go through... Oh, we can teleport straight to Mistport? Oh, okay. I've, I've still been taking the little pirate ship thing <laughs> each and every time. Uh, it's nice to know that we can just teleport straight here. I think it was actually an Alnera... And let's see here. Yeah, the gem of Ishnir. Uh, let's see here. Stop moving. Start is the Seerhaven Smith. Ah, the Smith. Why did I see? I guess I got the gem of Ishnir mixed up with the Seerhaven Smith. Okay, back to Seerhaven we go. Oh, that's not the way to Seerhaven. <laughs> I don't think it's down there. Oh, man. Okay, where's the dang teleporter at? Here we go. I knew it was down down somewhere. And back to Seer Haven. The Seer Haven Smith. Interesting that it starts here. Um, but I like the idea of having to travel back and forth between the regions. That's the workshop. I think the Smith is over here. The Forge, Durability Repair, and Unshattering Services here. I should probably repair that. Uh, place an item on the pedestal to see its repair cost. 30 levels to repair. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got repair man. I don't know what that does. I guess it's just, just a little, just a little achievement. Achievement unlock. That's the repairman. That's the experience manager. Uh. Why would you need to repair your shulkers? Well, you see, some shulker box boxes just get old and they're difficult for maintenance to keep them to date, so my job is to manually replace them or refund the resources for you to buy another. Just keep in mind that I can't save any items left inside when I repair them, so take them out first. Also, any special things you've given them, like infusions, will be lost. What in the heck? You can you can infuse a sugar box? <laughs> what is going on on this server, man? And where is this dang smith at? Um, I thought that this was the smith, but maybe this is not the... It, it does say the forge. So if we're looking for a smith, then I guess this is not it. I want to learn to make something. Um, actually, what does that do? I'm sorry, I'm not taking on students right now. I could use your help, though, eager one. With what? My miners have been trying to reclaim the haunted mine. No. Nope, I don't want to help you with your haunted mine. It will be it will remain haunted forever and ever and ever. Okay, so if that's not the smith, then where where is the smith? Do I have a map? I think there is a map somewhere. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is head to... Oh, actually, okay, this is Whisper Vale. What kind of quest do we have here? Mirrored Egos. Like, a lot of them I don't have... 10,000 bets. Finding... Uh, okay. Uh, Myriad, greetings! Hello, I don't believe we've met. Who are you? 
I am known by many names, Myriad, Ender, Alada, the Myriad. Someone even uh, someone even called me Apple once. I would prefer it if you just called me Myriad, though. Uh, tell me, are you a gambling person? Ah, uh, bit, not, but not much. Smart. Only someone with luck such as I could make it worthwhile. Luck like yours. Care to demonstrate? No, I don't want to do that. Um, go away. Oh gosh, what did I do? Uh, sure, we can head to the casino. Just talk to me when you're ready. Okay. Ready to go. Sure. Is this just like a little introduction to the casino? Is that all this is? Uh, I guess I'm just having an off day, he says. Sticks. Yeah, those two were just a fluke. I'm just, uh, let me try again. Hey, uh, now that, now that the machine is warmed up, how about you give it a try? He hands you a chip. Don't I have to be standing on the pressure plate for it to work? Did I get some gold? He swipes the gold bar. See, I, uh, I told you, it's because I warmed it up. Okay. Uh, almost done. Uh, wait, I can't read with the chat on. I'm going to turn the chat off. Why does it say his name is James if his name is actually Myriad? Uh, anyways. Oh, who... Wait, uh, I'm so lost. Oh, who am I kidding, he says. Uh, take the gold. I don't deserve it. I lost my luck long ago. Um, okay, solid gold bar, shiny, it says. I can mend the fragments of that which is found within the casino. Trade with me those fragments, and I can make something much more grand. Okay, we don't have any fragments. I'm not sure what's going on exactly with this. Uh, Myriad seems pretty upset. I should go see if he's alright. Okay, he's probably back where we just found him. The guy clearly has a gambling problem. I don't think we should be encouraging it. Who are you? No. Oh, gosh, is that you again? I'm get I get so turned around in this city. And really in all the cities. Like, I don't even know where this, this James Myriad guy is now. James, James, is that you, Mr. Apple? Come here. I don't deserve that name. Are you all right? Oh, you startled me. I would I would be if I still had my luck. I used to be renowned for it. I would win bets left and right. Ever since my last adventure, though, I can't use it. I've been as lucky, as unlucky as everybody else. What happened on your last adventure? It got stolen. I didn't believe it when it happened. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you're still famous. Not really. I've lost most of my fortune and popularity ever since I lost my luck. And stop calling me that stupid name. My name is James. Oh, okay. Plain old boring James. Uh, all right, Apple. <laughs> what can I do to you? Okay. Sorry. I'm just messing with you. Um, we want that one. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, I lost my chest plate in a bet with a casino owner a long time ago. I would love to get that back. Um, I'll see what I can do. Try looking around the casino. The bouncer's got to be guarding something. So now I'm helping him steal back the things that he lost because of his gambling addiction, huh? Where is the casino at? Down here, right? Right. That's the bouncer. Oh, he threw the painting, right? Yep. Uh, CEO's office. Employee lounge, administration. Research and development. How to rip people off. Slot machine, master matrix. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, it's one of these, huh? As though I know how to solve these kinds of puzzles. Um. Reset. Sure. I don't think that's really what we wanted to do. Does that set it off? Maybe we should read the instructions. 
Please read very closely, all new staff members, because I am not rewriting this note for the 14th time. Instructions on how to rate the slot machines for our special customers. Your aim is to redirect the chips flowing out of the emerald output on the top left to the diamond input on the bottom left. By default, they flow into the emerald output. Hit the buttons to redirect the flow. The connections are only so long and will only last four blocks before they need to flow over the gold hubs to keep going. If you run a connection into a wall or unconfigured space, it will destroy the chip. Gold hubs can have multiple connections flow through them. Most importantly, do not leave the matrix configured like this. Anybody who knows their way around a slot machine could easily make a rigged chip. Um, okay. So we're trying to... Interesting, and it says it has to go, f okay. It'll only go four spaces before it has to go over a gold block. Don't we want to start off there then? Oops. Can we not just take it straight there? Um, oh, I see. And that doesn't have a button on it. Okay, so then we would need to go to the left here. But then that's going to get us more than four spaces. Um... So we're going to be... We're going to have to come at it from this direction then. All right, I think that I have it down, but we shall see. The trick is to do a little loop right here. Well, I'm saying that, and I haven't actually, you know, I'm not 100% sure I've solved it, but I think I have. All right, we got the chess piece. After re rewriting the chip successfully, you run the rig chip through, and it shoots out an item through an unseen hatch. You close it and claim your reward. It is Myriad's chest plate. And we'll go ahead and reset that even though I'm sure we don't need to. Uh, and let us return through the painting. Mr. Bouncer, you just don't even care that I'm just running right through your little secret door. Alright, Mr. James Apple Myriad. Got you your chest plate. Hello again, were you successful? Show and give chest plate. Oh my goodness, my chest plate. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Please call me Myriad again. Glad you're feeling better. So, um... Oh yes, of course, a reward. I should have known better. I would have asked the same. I'll tell you what. Take this key and go use it on my treasure chest upstairs. I'm sure you'll find something up there worth your while. Oh, and I would be happy to make more rig chips for you. Not cheap, of course. I'm still a gambling man. I awarded access to rig chips for Myriad. And a chest key. Uh, interesting. Um, hmm. And there's apparently a chest up here. Burning Wake. Here it's Crest. Myriad safe is locked. Give me the key. We got ourselves Dusty Blueprint for Myriad's Rapier. And Diary Pages. Today was an exciting day while I was exploring the north of Ishnir. I noticed the usual volcanic ash in the distance had subsided. Without thinking, I immediately began using my Frostwalker boots to sprint over the open ocean. I was simply too curious not to. What I found is intriguing, a small prismarine and stone structure in the middle of the area. Atop it, I met a spirit that told me I must pass a trial, using the best equipment known to man. I, of course, did not need anything but my luck to survive. The spirit, however, had no response to me cheating. It seemed very empty. Hmm, interesting. Broken. Hey, what, why does he have a fixed one and then a broken one? Um, I'm guessing we can do something with this. Is there somebody who will create items for you? Maybe that forge in Seerhaven? Probably more likely to be somewhere here in this second region. All right, you guys. Well, we did do a quest. I would like to do a dungeon sometime soon, so maybe somebody can help me out and point me in the right direction. I've kind of forgotten what dungeon we're even on. 
at this point. But uh, anyways, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.